soft bits is to make using the Arduino module as simple as possible from a programming perspective. So this is the complete sketch. We have a simple setup. One, we set up the soft bits and here we set up the MIDI. And the, the, the bits we're going to use for this are we power on, we do a MIDI input, we output on the A9 output, and this basically, remember, does the analog output on D9 using the pulse width modulation and a and the switch into the analog mode, which adds a capacitor and resistor feed filter network to convert the varying width pulse into a voltage. And here is the power off. So this is a whole sketch. Now on this side, here we have the Arduino. I've plugged into it the MIDI input on the RX input. These two are just actually just connected to, the, to a battery, to a power module. I have two bar graphs here. We're going to use the A9 in this first sketch. So there's an example of a very simple use of MIDI bits. So what I've added now is I've added a MIDI channel 1 bit when we had only just the MIDI input MIDI bit, the MIDI bit was listening on all of the 16 MIDI channels. Um, so a note on any channel was being, the last note on any of all the channels was one that was being output on A9. By using a MIDI channel 1 bit, we're now only listening to MIDI channel 1. So if, we, if we, for instance, typically a, if you have a drum unit, it outputs on channel 10, um, and that would have been interfering with our keyboard which we're using, so we'd have been hearing the uh, last drum sound as a note. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking the control change message number 19, which I found is typically used for uh, filter sweeps, and sending it to chain 2. So this is chain 1, so I'm sending to chain 2. So chain 2 here receives the control change message from 19, uh, control change channel number 19 and it's outputting on the A5 output. So this is the uh, five number 5 output. It switches an analog mode and I'm using the analog output. So this is outputting an analog voltage and this is taken over to the filter sweep which is fitting, which is just after the oscillator here. So the frequency of the filter is being controlled through A5. So as I control change the knob on my keyboard, I can sweep the filter. In this example, I've added one more bit. What I've done is I've used the the plus bit from the arithmetic soft bits kit and basically I'm adding the output from chain 1 which will be was the the note data and I'm adding it into the data I sent from the con filter control change message so this means now the output A5 can, has both the note data plus the filter data so the output will track with the keyboard So in this example, I've replaced that plus with the counter. Its main purpose is to either count up or down depending on the value or its, or its input. Its input, remember, is, is being sent from the control change message 19. So the output from the counter is going to be used to control the filter. 
And I can control the filters to the counters to a MIDI note on event has specifies both the note to play and if the keyboard supports it how fast you press the key or how hard you press the key with the faster you press the key the bigger the number so I'm using the velocity and sending it to chain 2 which then gets sent to the A5 output which is over here so now the filter value, sweep value is determined by how fast or how hard I hit the keyboard so here I've left the velocity in and I've added two more MIDI bits I've add, I put back the uh, control change 19 messages this time I'm sending them to chain 3 and I've added this MIDI glide bit which it takes the glide rate from chain 3 now since I'm not actually doing any processing in chain 3 currently I don't actually need to have a power on for it now we glide when we basically do a, glis a um, legato type play so if we just press and release we don't glide at all but if we press one note then hold and press a second note it'll glide between the two that's what it sounds like so here I've moved the glide from the note output chain 1, to, from chain 1 down to chain 2 this sketch I've used the MIDI gate bit what the gate bit does basically it sends 0 when no key is depressed and sends 255 when a key is depressed and in this example I'm sending the gate value to chain 2 and on chain 2 I have added these three new bits first bit is the envelope attack bit and I'm using the envelope release bit and there the attack and release rate are coming from chain 3 on chain 3 I'm reading the input on the A0 value of the Arduino as my input data so this retrieves the envelope value and I output it to the filters So here you see I've added a dimmer to the A0 input. So you can also do uh, obviously simple things uh, using both hardware and software. So obviously soft bits can be controlled the hardware because the hardware can also control the soft bits so here the attack and decay time is controlled from the little bits synth sequencer so here the sequencer is playing some values and when they add are added to the note data coming from the MIDI
control the attack and release rate. So here is a small sampler of the sort of things you can do using the MIDI input and the MIDI soft bits. <laughs> 